All right, so here's an article from Rolling Stone. It says, Joker, fully a dick, uh, has a message for fans. Go fuck yourselves. Kudos to this follow-up to the $1 billion grossing hit for delivering something more than a carbon copy copy of the Angry Young Clown original. But who exactly is the musical sequel for? Now, uh, this... So this might, uh, hopefully this is not spoilers. I didn't watch it, but I did. I do know what happens in the movie. And uh, this movie is a big, it is a big F you to the original Joker fan. For the one that came out five, four to five years ago. Now, and let me tell you why. They deconstruct the character. Whatever you liked about the Joker originally is no longer there. You bear, according to what I heard, you barely actually see the Joker. You see more of Arthur Fleck. And it, um, and according to what I heard from the third act, they completely destroy whatever you thought that was cool about the Joker. And I think this was done on purpose by Todd Phillips. You weren't supposed to like the Joker, the character, the Joker in the first movie, right? It's because Gray, do you remember when the first movie came out? They said that this is going to cause mass stabbings, mass violence because of, um, you know, the incel, the rise of incels, and they're going to, you know, shoot up the movie theater and stuff like that. Do you remember that or no? I recall vaguely, vaguely. Yeah. So and then the thing is that, and then like there's even movie theaters where you actually go in and there are metal detectors. Right. And then a couple of weeks later, Frozen 2, there was a stabbing in Frozen 2. Maybe they should have had a metal detector for that movie, but I digress. But yeah, you you weren't supposed to like the character Joker, right? And that movie was like a weird one-off thing where, where DC was coming out with flop, flop, and cock after year after year after year, right? And then you got like a Elseworlds Joker one-off movie that was done by Todd Phillips that was really, really good. Right, everyone loved it. It was one of the first rated R movies that hit a billion dollars at that time, and it was massive. And you go from that to this to making a musical. Now, who are musicals for? Great. Do you like musicals? Do you watch musicals? I appreciate them when I see them, but I don't go out of my way to watch them. Like it's always like, oh, we're gonna go. Like if it's a family occasion or I'm out with friends, oh, let's watch this musical. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go along. But I'm not going to go out of my way to look for them. Kind of like the way I look for new video games and stuff like that. It, it, they're yeah. okay, but I'm not really like, you know, I'm, oh, I want to watch another new musical. Nah, that's never going to happen. Yep. So uh, the thing is, whether or not Todd Phillips wanted to make this movie to say, go fuck yourselves, you know, <laughs> to, 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 the, to the fans, of the original Joker, whether it's um, deliberately done or not, he did it anyways. Is because this movie got a shit ton of money made from the first one, and then they're like, "Yo, Todd Phillips, we're backing up the fucking dumpster truck of money. Do you want it?" And he's like, uh, "Because he said that he wasn't gonna make it. He wasn't gonna make a sequel." And then a lot of money came, and then they're like, "All right, let's make it. Let, let's make it so bad where it's unwatchable." Right, I'm not sure that that was done done deliberately. According to what I heard, there are some good scenes in the movie. Right, there are some good parts in the movie. Whatever. Um, according to what I heard, Lady Gaga actually did a pretty good job, and Joaquin Phoenix is, of course, he's you know he's really really good at what he he did. But in terms of story wise, it was pretty bad. Right, I watched Jeremy Johns' review. T minus one day you'll forget about it. Right, uh, a moist critical. He's pretty lenient on his movie stuff. He said this is this is really bad. And it's, imagine there's a serious scene and often someone is like, oh, there's a serious scene. You're like, the fuck was that? And you're like, nothing. Anyways, I was having a hard day and then we're having a hard day. It's just like, what's happening? So that's basically, <laughs> there, there are scenes like that in the movie where it's like, there's a serious, you know, the serious scene, all of a sudden they start singing. And it's like, mumble singing not actual like singing singing and the thing is that Joaquin Phoenix can sing he did walk the line it's, of course Lady Gaga is a phenomenal singer whether you like her or not and then I 
this is going to be a spoiler a little bit. Harley Quinn, which is her character, does not like Arthur Fleck. She likes and loves the Joker. So according to what I heard, this is, this is a spoiler. Three, two, one. She tries to fuck the Joker out of him. Mm. Like, I heard it's weird. That, that, that's, I, I don't know why you would do that. And then the third act, he goes to prison and he gets raped by a prison guard. To get the Joker out? I don't know about that one. He gets, he, he just, I, I, all I know, like in the third act, he gets raped by a prison guard. A dude later stabs him. He, Arthur Fleck Joker dies. And then he puts the red paint or blood on his face and he becomes a new Joker. I don't know what the fuck. I, I, I'm not sure what the fuck that is. But, you know, there's a Harvey Dent in, 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 in the movie and stuff like that. I guess he's the district attorney and stuff like that. But overall, you weren't supposed to like the first movie. Great, you didn't watch it. So, you know, I, I, I'm, you know the first one was really good. It was well done. It was like a slow burn. It was, a, it was paced really, really well. Because you don't know if Arthur Fleck imagined all the things that he did or he actually did them as the Joker. We're not sure. This movie is sort of just like, oh, whatever you thought the first movie, fuck you. And I think it is sort of a fuck you to the fans of the original. Right? Because I, I'm not going to read this fucking dissertation, but the thing, like, I sort of went through it earlier, but it's basically a whatever you liked about it, you weren't supposed to like it, so let's go ahead and fix it. But yeah. He basically... Like you get very, very little Joker time. Most of it's Arthur Fleck and him being uh, him being a pussy. Now, mm. I do want to uh, show another one over here, though. I do want to show. I do want to show this. Did you see this already? Cinema Score gave Joker a D. All right, I'm not sure if it's people, if it was that bad. Maybe your expectations were set really, really high. And that's the reason why when you saw it, because I heard people actually left the theater too. All right, when people Ooh. saw it, they're like, ooh. And it, here's the thing. The first movie cost like $50 million to make or something like that. Pretty mm -hmm. cheap. I think mm -hmm. this movie was like 200 Good. Yeah. Yeah. You want to see I, something? I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, re I read your tweet about like it's trending in the same way as Morbius. So, <laughs> not, not a good sign. All right, here we go. Cinema score for Joker, a foley, a dick. D. Morbius, C. Plus. Oh, and this was Morbius rated this higher. Meme, <laughs> yeah, this is a meme movie where they re released it because of the memes. And yeah. it didn't do anything. They lost, Sony lost money doing that. Madam Web, also a C plus. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Is the Joker better than Madam Web? I'm pretty sure it is. At least we got to see Sydney Sweeney in Madam Web, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, now that, you, now that you mentioned it, I think the reason why it's D, because of what came before, because they're, they set their expectations so high. Mm -hmm. Whereas Madam Web, people knew it was going to be a shitstorm, it was going to be a disaster. I think that's why this led to be, like, it's, it's different when you, even though it's a new IP, you know it's going to suck. There's a, there's a, it hits different when, there used to be something really, really good. And then it, the sequel suddenly nose dives really hard. Even yep. though, generally speaking, it's actually better than this supposed new crap. So I think that's what happened here. Yeah. Like, how can you go from a billion dollar to like, they're saying that Morbius, like it's getting the same box office as Morbius and Madam Web. That's all. That's like $50 million they're getting. <laughs> <laughs> opening weekend 50 million dollars dude that's pretty damn bad man 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the Rotten Tomatoes for Joker Part 1. All right? So we have 68 and 89. Right? Pretty damn, uh, you know, you know, pretty damn good overall. You know, of course, uh, uh, you know, the top critics didn't want to like it. You, like I said, you're not, you weren't supposed to like this movie. That's why the critics says, don't watch this movie. You're not supposed to like this movie. All critics, 68. And of course, all audience is 90 verified audience. Now, I'm going to go to traverse my way to this one right over here. You already see it. God dang it. You already see it right over here. 33 to 31. The fans and the, the critics unanimous, unanimously agree that this shit is a pile of excrement. Man. Yeah. So uh, this movie is not... It's not even get back its money. I don't think so. Yeah. Remember, Especially if it costs that much, yeah. Joker 1 made a billion dollars without China. This movie, I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to be released in China, but no one's going to watch this garbage. But yeah. Uh, Gray, do you think, it, it, based off of what I told you, do you think it's considered a big F you to the fans? Yeah, kind of. Like, uh, I think this is like, yeah, another Eric Kripke situation where I, I forgot the name. Todd, what's the name of the showrunner? Todd, Todd Phillips, um, uh, the director, Phillips, the director, mm -hmm. sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, I think he maybe he got the success over his head. Well, I don't blame him for taking a money because, like, I, I think that's what inevitably will happen, like. You have this diamond in the rough show where all the other shows were were on mass decline or underperformed, and you have this one unique outlier that did really, really well that never meant to have a sequel. So what Hollywood will inevitably do is like, okay, give him, a, give him, just keep giving him more and more money until he just says yes to make the sequel. Mm -hmm. and then that kind of not only did he got more money that, but it also elevated his ego to a whole new level. So that that will inevitably get him. Okay, I'll just give a fuck you to the fans. I'm 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 popular now and stuff like that. So yeah. that's kind of what happened here. Yeah, I agree. I but uh, some people also said like one person mentioned in the in the chat. This Todd Phillips could have been like, I told you I didn't want to make a part two. So I'm gonna purposely ruin this Joker IP. And uh, yeah. that if that's if that's what he did purposely, then yeah, then you did a good job, right? Take yeah. your money and laugh. He's like, I'm gonna make a shitty thing. I'm gonna make a musical. Here's the thing, um, I do enjoy myself a, a, a musicals from time to time. Um, a really good one of my favorite musicals of all time, The Book of Mormon. So fucking good. It, it's the guy that, that, that did South Park. It's so good. Like if you have the chance to watch it, go watch it. It's one of the funniest shit ever. Uh, but yeah, uh, Book of Mormon is really good, and I and I, you know I watched Wicked before, and uh, I've seen like um, I haven't watched Greatest Showman or anything like that, but I I did you know watch a couple of things uh, you know stuff growing up with, but the thing is that like, it this one is just a lot of people say it wasn't good, you know, and you know Gary said it wasn't good, you know a lot of people that I trust says it wasn't good, so I'm gonna save my money and not watch this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gray, now you're like yeah. I'm not even going to watch the first one, but the first one is good, though. If you do have a chance, go watch the first one. But yeah, the first one is pretty damn good. All right. Uh, but yeah. Yo, what's going on, Big Z Video? Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks. And we'll see you guys next time.